right to questions. All right. Coach, obviously Ohio State's a team with a lot of weapons, but big plays, explosive plays, really yeah. a bunch of them for them today. It's something that's kind of been a little bit of a bugaboo for you guys this year defensively. Just, I guess, how frustrating has this been, and what when did you kind of see where the issues there? Yeah, well, obviously, you know, with all the playmakers that they have, you know, just uh, the run pass confidence they put you in, you know, where it was a uh, concern going in. But, uh, you know, try to be able to load the box, take away the run. You know, some talented running backs, and obviously receivers, if you isolate those guys, try to, you know, double cover a couple guys. But you know, like, you can't do more than that. We've been two of them, you know, some past situations. So, yeah, I was disappointed in explosive plays we gave up, especially the run game. Uh, more so, you know, the big pass game is hard. You know, they got guys matched up against you. And uh, just uh, there's not enough hats to the ball, not enough guys making plays and finishing plays at the point of attack. Um, didn't, didn't think we'd fit the run, obviously, very even close to being what's acceptable. So uh, really disappointed in that regard. But uh, um, really talented football team. We have to have guys step up. But I just didn't think we could. The execution to me was still, even though we had a pretty simple plan, try and help our guys to get to the get to the football, surround it, and get guys on the ground. So just uh, just poor performance for sure. Sammy, then Jack. Uh, Coach, Connor started the game. You put Dexter in. Was the plan to always play Dexter the rest of the way, or did he show something that made you feel comfortable that he could play? Yeah, the, the plan was to definitely play Dex. Like I said that earlier, um, and uh, see how things went with him. And so, uh, how he was doing. I felt like he was doing a lot of good things, and so felt like that we need to keep him in the game. So uh, it was going to be dependent upon how how Dexter responded, and. Uh, and how it would kind of play itself out the rest of the game. So I thought Dex was the movement of football. Obviously took us down Gus into the end zone and uh, gave us a chance to make some plays with his legs, extend the ball in the pass game, uh, run the ball in the run game, and then making some throws. Obviously missed on some throws as well. But uh, I think he got some really good experience today. Jeff and Keen, I guess with Dexter, did he show you enough today that, um, that he'll be the starter moving forward, or do you think that is still a competition well, for next year? We will evaluate that as a staff, but I, I like what I saw from Dexter today. Keegan then set. Coach, do you think that your team offensively kind of needs a quarterback that can do it in both fa both phases, run and throw? Well, I think any time uh, you have a guy that can do that, uh, it obviously takes pressure off your offensive line uh, in, in both the pass game and the run game. It affects the hats that they have in the box uh, in, in the run game and how they fit those runs. You know, So, yeah, I think any time you have a guy that has the ability to do both, uh, it can help you without question as long as they can throw the ball with a high enough accuracy to allow you to throw the ball well. So that's the thing that uh, obviously Dexter has shown flashes of that. He needs to be more consistent in those areas. But uh, yeah, I, I just, you know, I've said many times before, you have a guy that can extend the play with his legs. It does put more stress on the defense without question. Seth and Mason. We saw uh, Carter Smith go in for Parker Hanna during the game. Did, was, was that injury related or performance related? And uh, we saw Bradley go down. Uh, I guess what's his status? Yeah, I don't know Bradley's status. Uh, it's a lower leg injury. Uh, we'll find out more about that when we get out of here. Um, they're done with this. So I thought Bradley or uh, Carter was expected to play. Um, practicing this week. You know, he was with the scouts last week. You know, I've been with the scouts. You know, pretty much the whole season. So. Just felt like he's making lots of progress and wanted to see what he could do. So we brought him up this past week. He got a lot of reps with our ones and twos and uh, felt comfortable putting him in there. And uh, I would say it's a tall task for a true freshman uh, that hasn't played at all, you know, and hasn't spent much time you know, with those guys, but spent the whole week there. And, uh, and when you do that, you, you, you evaluate how they do throughout those practices. And you, you, if you feel good enough to put them out there, you do. And I thought, uh, you know, I've seen the film obviously, but uh, I did some good things. You know, it's a tough position to play, especially against the defensive line that the Ohio State has. And so, uh, really excited about about uh, um, you know Carter's potential, his upside, and, and he's trying to find a way to maximize our roster, uh, get our young guys some really strong development here uh, late in the season, and get them prepared for the future. Mason and Wilson. Coach, you mentioned that you were really disappointed in, in the run game plays that you guys gave up. What was it about Ohio State's attack that was just forcing so many big holes for them? Yeah, you know, to me, uh, you know, getting whipped up front, you know, which I thought was, you know, something that uh, we knew we needed to have big physical off the line. But you got to win your gaps, you got to win your technique, you got to win the technique. And, and I didn't think we did a very good job of that. And uh, the line's got to play better, my back's got to fit better, they got to finish tackle better. And uh, um, I think really, to me, it's a front seven. It's kind of what I put it on. Too many, too many creases, too many seams, too many loose fits. Um, so get both 
at linebacker without question, but the guy's got to step up. Wilson, they have time. You touched on it a little bit, but uh, how Dexter can extend plays, but just how does that affect um, how you go about um, attacking this Ohio State defense when you have a quarterback who can run a little more than time? Yeah, it, it helps you without question, you know, but he is awfully young. So I, I think you're just going through, you know, as we put together a game plan this week, trying to maximize that when he was in there without putting too much on him, you know, because I think there's a balance with all that. But yeah, I, I just think that any anytime, you know, you can force uh, them to have to count for him. You know, he's just an extra guy in the box. It's plus one offense mindset. So they got to either trigger safety or do something, you know, schematically to adjust for him. So um, definitely gives you an advantage and uh, we want to be able to keep expanding that without question. So um, like I said, I liked what I saw from him. It obviously gives us a chance to do, do more things with him, you know, and how that continues to grow. But uh, yeah, once again, you got to find guys on your roster that can help you move the football on offense and get first downs and eventually score points. Evan, last one. Are, are you going to be seeing more freshmen and letting them get experience on the, on the field? And what's the benefit of doing that at this point in the season? Um, well, you know, the, the one benefit is based within the rules, you know, you got four games, you know, so this is where, you know, we, we fully aware of that. Don't want to burn a whole guy's season, you know, and, and have him play five games, you know. So but we have guys that have those games left. So experience is invaluable without question. So I just think that's a big part of it is being able to get guys um, more experience, more guys developed and, and improving. And so yeah, and it just helps their motivation as well. So anytime you can play young guys and get that great experience uh, late in the season is a big plus. All right, thanks Tom. Awesome, have a great night. Bring that up to